This is John B. Castleman, a native Louisvillian who fought for the Confederacy. This monument and over 700 like it across the country have sparked some pretty hot debate recently. But when did the fight to remove Confederate monuments begin? After the 2015 Charleston Massacre in South Carolina, several communities began calling for the removal of Confederate monuments. But the Southern Poverty Law Center points out that there are two specific periods that saw a spike in Confederate monuments. The Jim Crow era, like Castleman here, whose monument was erected in 1913, and the Civil Rights Movement. So why is it so hard to remove Confederate statues? Well, in states like Tennessee, they've enacted the Heritage Protection Act, which makes it difficult to legally remove Confederate monuments. According to multiple reports, the city of New Orleans spent $2.1 million removing four Confederate monuments after a long legal battle with preservation groups. Speaking of preservation groups, what do these monuments really mean to those in favor of keeping them? Mississippi Governor Phil Bryant said that history deserves study and reflection, no matter how unpleasant or complicated parts of it may be. Our own Kentucky governor also argued in favor of keeping these monuments, but there are still many people who see these monuments as a celebration of slavery and the racist hate that upheld the institution. Several incidents have shown us that racism is still alive in the hearts of many Americans. But will taking down these monuments really mend the racial divide and erase hate? I guess we'll have to see.